Jeff Weir and Tandon Laundere are pals who ironically have many things in common with art being central to what binds them together. Boyhood friends that share a love for North Idaho and the lure of the outdoors, wildlife, and history. So much so, they recently shared some space at the Northwest Museum of Arts and Culture in Spokane in an exhibit called The Idahoans. Yeah, I've known Tandon since middle school, and he's just awesome. Met his teenagers and just live in rough, rowdy North Idaho lifestyle. So Jeff has been a buddy of mine since grade school, or junior high, and we, uh, we kind of um, hit it off in a, in a little bit of a uh, renegade, radical, you know, high school kid way. We've known each other since we were like, oh boy, we were like 14, 15 maybe. He's just a different guy and always had the crazy ideas of let's go hide in dumpsters and scare the people that walk by and I was just so game for that kind of life. The blessing of a small town, you can kind of, you know, just stay in touch with people. It's the kind of the special part that we have in the Inland Northwest. He builds a cool community is what he does. This is his building and he said, I want to make a place for artists where they can create and he's super community oriented where he has this good vision of what Coeur d'Alene could be. Both artists, based in the Rockford Building in Coeur d'Alene, a building that Tandon bought in 2018 and converted into an art space for working artists, produce their chosen brand of art that they create passionately. Painting is what I've always wanted to do, and I just really love North Idaho and the idea of the West and kind of just the adventure and wildlife and lifestyle of a day gone by. And I kind of wish that I lived back then, but by painting I can imagine and kind of be there and create it. Armed with no formal training and a special old book, Jeff has taken to create wonderful large paintings that explore the world of the West in his images and colors. I got a book from my great grandmother that is like her life study of mixing all the different colors together. I took those colors and made my own color palette out of all my favorite colors. And I just kind of painted and made a lot of bad paintings and just worked at it and found something that's unique. And I, now I'm glad that I didn't have traditional training because I've made something that's really just me. I grew up reading Louis L'Amour books and there's a day that Life was grander and risks were bigger and there's so much structure now that that kind of adventure is gone for the regular man, but you can go find it if you really want to work for it. For me, painting is really about making a feeling more than it is like making an image. I love the time spent at the easel. Pulling a piece together and making it work and the time pushing the paint and mixing it and seeing what you can do with transparent and opaque layers and just seeing the feeling that you can create. With Jeff's view of the West with his oil paintings, Tandon's art takes advantage of images and text to create collages that speak truth to his chosen subject. My art is uh, mixed media Americana, so it's telling the stories of really anybody, but I'm focusing on uh, Native Americans, cowboys, kind of the West, um, and that's kind of grown out of a love for that culture um, since a boy. I read a ton of biographies growing up. I mean, I just read and read and read like all kinds of individuals. And then the art kind of transpired in a way to where it's these visual biographies now telling the story in, in layers. These are heavily uh, collage based. Some pieces have up to five or six different layers in them uh, and mediums that range from like color pencil to to chalk, to crayons, um, you'll have a resin in there, you'll have tinted, uh, tinted glues. I mean, there's just, the process is just really smashed together. Tandon's work is weighted heavily toward procuring visual materials for his works, always having an eye open for something unique and special for his chosen subject. 
So you might capture an old Indian chief. You do topo maps of the territory and, and, and then you get into content of how that tribe lived and how and some of his like accomplishments or battles and you kind of get into like this narrative of what was his life. But it's all done in reverence and respect. So it's it's always done in a in a framework and a mindset that how are we telling these guys' real stories? I want specifically that original content to whoever that that character was. Some of it's like balancing the sacredness of the content you're using and the, the media you're using, but it really comes out in art because the art's really like a story of someone's life. So I don't know, it's, it's, made for a, it's made for a lot of education for myself and uh, I really enjoy it. The friendship between Jeff and Tandon may traverse many years of their lives, but the mutual respect they have for each other is indomitable. It's been cool to kind of mature as a career artist alongside somebody you've known for a long time um, and have uh, a symbiotic relationship that kind of says like, yeah, this is what he does and this is what I do. And it balances because it's not, it's not t too closely tied together so we can kind of build off each other. I just want to tell people that there's more to life than paying a bill and if you're passionate about something don't just go for like the instant gratification of spend the time if there's something you love just go at it all the time i think life's about loving the people that you love and doing what you love to do